up guys, Akshay here, back again with a brand new video and today I'm bringing you guys my full review of the Asus Zenfone 2 Tilux. Now, if you haven't been living under a rock or something, chances are that you probably know about the Zenfone 2. It's one of the first smartphones on the market to sport 4GB of RAM and that too for $300. This right here is quote unquote the deluxe variant of the Zenfone 2. Now the Zenfone 2 Deluxe is pretty much the exact same device. It has the same processor, the same amount of RAM, the same display, the same dimensions and even the same camera with only one major and minor difference between the two. Now the Zenfone 2 Deluxe comes with this fancy new back panel and starts at the base model of 64GB and goes up to a whopping 256GB of internal storage and still keeps that support for micro SD card expansion if you're interested. So let's start off with the design of the smartphone and talking about that back panel, it has a polygonal design on it and comes in two different colors purple and white and the interesting thing about it is that the panel actually switches between hues of purple and blue depending upon how you're looking at it which is actually pretty awesome. Now, it doesn't feel premium in any way, it still feels like plastic, good, strong, grippy plastic, but the back panel just rather looks weird, and that depends upon person to person. My mom, for instance, absolutely hated the look of the phone, where I was rather intrigued by it. So, a personal upfront experience with the phone might be a better idea before you decide to pick one up. Now, on the front of the device, we have three capacitive menu buttons which definitely should have been backlit but are not, surprisingly, and there's a rather large bezel just below that display. Now, having a look at that display, it's a 5.5 inch 1080p panel covered in Corning Gorilla Glass 3 and actually looks pretty good. Now, it's not the best display on the market by any means, with the display lacking in some departments. For instance, the colors were a bit washed out for my taste, but you can actually go ahead and tweak that by the built in application and changing the color mode to Vivid. Now, the viewing angles were actually pretty good, the brightness of the screen however was not. I had some serious issues using the phone outside on a bright sunny day and found myself covering up the display to actually see what's going on, so that was a rather big disappointment from a sub $300 smartphone. Now, it's going to be just fine for consuming media and playing games, but it's just something that you guys should know about. Now, like the LG G4, the Zenfone 2 Deluxe also has the volume rockers and the power button on the back of the device. <coughs> Sorry, it actually only has the volume rockers on the back with the power button being on the top of the smartphone. Absolutely genius. Now, for me, I felt the volume rockers to be a bit thin and aren't as tactile and easy to press as I would like them to be. The power button, on the other hand, is just simply downright stupid. Now, the worst part is that they could have actually switched it to another part of the phone in the Deluxe variant, but no, it's still there and it's still very hard to reach to press. However, this is a part where the software kicks in. You have been provided with gestures like double tap to wake and sleep, which I used all the time, and you can also draw letters on the screen when it's locked to open up certain applications that you can customize on your own. Now, I rarely remembered what letter I assigned to what application, so I just ended up using the old school method of opening up applications. Now, on the back of the device, you have a big speaker grill drilled into the panel for a very tiny little speaker, which isn't very loud, and you would probably just want to plug in some earphones to consume media. Now, revealing the back panel will also give you access to the dual SIM card slots, one of which supports 4G and the other one that will run on Edge network. And you also have a micro SD card slot that supports up to 64GB of storage, so that adds up to 128GB for this phone along with a non-removable 3000mAh battery. Now, I found the camera on the Zenfone 2 Deluxe to be pretty ordinary, the shots that I took in bright sunlight were good, but take some shots in the dark and you can see a lot of noise in the picture. Also, there is no optical image stabilization built in, but that wasn't a big surprise considering the price of the smartphone. Now, here's what bugs me a lot. There are a total of 19 modes in the camera application to choose from, and they don't do anything special. Now, the shot looks pretty much the exact same thing as you would get from auto, which is what I used all the time, and that is was something a general consumer would use, because nobody has time to scroll through 19 different modes to choose the best one for the picture. Now, the camera is fast in taking pictures and focusing, but it doesn't beat the competition out of the water. Also, there was this small lag while switching to the viewfinder between different shots. Now, with all of that being said, the performance is where the device truly comes on the top. Thanks to that quad-core Intel Atom chipset and 4GB of RAM, the phone flies through any task that you throw at it. Whether it was playing games, extreme multitasking, it handled everything with no problems. Now the Zenfone 2 Deluxe comes with Android 5.0 Lollipop out of the box with Asus own skin on top of it called the Zen UI. Now you can go all out nuts on the customization from changing transitions, icon packs, themes, fonts and whatnot right from when you first power on the device. 
but that is no excuse for all the bloatware that comes with this device and that is somewhere around 40 applications if you're wondering and within my 10 minutes of first using the device I ended up uninstalling all the bloatware that I possibly could but then there was still a bunch of that left. I also ended up changing the launcher and keyboard according to my liking because, you know, I can do that. You also have stuff like one-handed mode that you can activate by double tapping the home button and you can also go ahead and change the quick application and notification toggles and even hide applications if you want. Now with such a powerful device you'll need a pretty solid battery to keep it running and the battery life on this thing is rather unusual. On some days I could easily get through an entire day of use but on some days it would start to give up on me rather quickly. Now the phone does come with support for quick charging so if needed you can get from 0% to 100% in about 90 minutes which is actually pretty awesome. Now I guess that pretty much wraps up my opinions and strictly my opinions for the Zenfone 2 Deluxe. The display on this thing won't make your jaw drop and the same goes for the camera and the battery but the design of the Zenfone 2 Deluxe is rather unique and the performance of this phone is very impressive. It's fast, smooth and very satisfying. Now you can go ahead and remove all the crazy bloatware, throw a launcher on there, get a decent pair of earphones to go along with it, and boom, you've got yourself a pretty good performing smartphone for around $350 or $450 for the 64GB or the 128GB model that you decide to pick up if and when it comes to the US. And for now it's currently available in the Indian market so if you're from India I'll make sure to leave the links to this down below in the description of the video. So guys, that pretty much wraps up my full review of the Asus Zenfone 2 Deluxe. If you like this video or if this video was helpful to you in any kind of way, make sure to give it a huge thumbs up down below. Also make sure to subscribe to the channel as it really does help out a lot and also makes you stay connected with all my latest tech content. Also, I'm a real social guy so make sure to follow me on all my social media networks, my Snapchat, my Twitter, my Instagram and my Facebook. I'm super active and I love to interact with you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you later in the next one. Peace.